Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, first of all, Happy New Year. Um, we are now in 2016, and it is a fresh start for everybody, and I'm just so thankful to be alive for another year. I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm always so thankful about being having the ability to wake up another day, let alone another year. So, hopefully this year is going to be an amazing year for everybody. I wish nothing but the best for everybody. Yes, including you guys, the trolls on my channel. Love ya. I just wish nothing but positive things for you guys. Like, I hope everything is just amazing and all that good stuff. Positive vibes for everybody. I'm not wearing the makeup and my hair is not done up at all because it is my day off today. Um, I've been super busy, super, super busy between work and here on YouTube and everything, just trying to get my room redecorated. Um, I have a couple of things coming in to finish off the room. You guys, I'm going to have a new background, everything, which I'm super excited about. I also have a haul coming, which I'm going to show you just that, and that's it. But I have a haul coming for you guys, um, maybe later on this week. I have a couple more places I want to stop in and pick up a couple things from, but after that, I will be doing a haul for you guys. So, yeah. I also want to talk about the fact that you guys have been asking me for an updated makeup collection. I don't plan on doing one of those for a while just because I just did one last year in September and I feel like if I were to do one right now it would be kind of overkill because I just did one. So I mean I know my makeup collection has grown exponentially over the past few months alone since that video but I feel like it'd be such overkill to do another one so soon after that first one was uploaded. So what I'll do for you guys is actually link the past ones down below, including my most recent one, which was in September, before I moved from Florida to New York. Um, and then this September, I'll make it a year thing. So from year to year, I'll do new updated collection videos for you guys. I will be filming that video for you guys. But if you guys want to see a beauty room tour, that way you guys can see pretty much some of the makeup that I do have. Um, I will be happy to do that for you guys. If you want to see that, either comment down below, just say yes or whatever, or just simply like the video. So, um, besides being requested to do a makeup collection video, I have been requested to do an up update of the Lime Crime and Gerard Cosmetics scandals. I was very skeptical on doing this video just because I did just film those videos again not too long ago, this, this past summer I filmed those videos, actually last spring I filmed that those two videos, and I feel like, again, it's overkill, but you guys have been so persistent in asking me what's going on, even on that initial first video from Lime Crime, about Lime Crime, you guys have been asking me any updates, anything going on, so I was like, you know what, I have the time, I'll just do some research and see if anything has gotten better, so I'm trying to give the companies not a good light because I don't agree with what they ha had done, but just to see if anything had gotten any better. And unfortunately, for both com well, for one company, nothing has gotten better. For those of you who don't like this kind of videos, let me just start out by saying this. Whatever. That is your decision, but you're the one who clicked on this video, so that is on you. It's not on me. I put it up for the people who wanted to see this kind of video. This is for you guys, because I like to do videos that you want to see. This is not about me, it's about you guys. So if you don't like these kind of videos, or if you don't like my opinion, I don't want any name calling, you're allowed to have your opposing beliefs, you're more than welcome to broadcast them, that's fine, but I do not want any name calling, no bullying, nothing, because that, there's a difference between having an opinion and being a bully. Believe it or not, there is. And I hate bullies. I do not like bullies. So, that being said, we're going to go into this video as adults with open minds. Yes? Yes? Okay. Once again, you guys had requested that I did this video, so I did some research on both companies, on both Gerard and Lime Crime. The first one I went to was uh, Gerard, and I'm happy to report that I have not noticed any complaints, any um, problems with the company since that one initial incident we had with Snapchat and the people involved. I've not noticed anything whether or not the person who was attacked by the company, um, whether or not she's gone through anything, I don't know. I'm not her. I can't tell you if anything has happened. If she's watching this and she wants to elaborate on some things, maybe some things did happen that I don't know about, she is more than free to tell you guys down below, but that is her business. It's not mine. It's not my place to broadcast it. But other than that, I don't think the company has really had any big problems since then. As for Lime Crime, um, as far as I've seen, there are still people 
waiting for their refund of the money that was taken. There are still people getting charged two times for only buying one product. There are still people getting infections on their rashes in their face from using her velveteen lipsticks. I just, I, I, I cannot believe that we are getting into another year now. In a year from that initial incident and pretty much I mean it's died down drastically from how like sped up it was back then but we're still dealing with these you know here and there incidents why is this still happening why are people still waiting for their money why are people still getting infections I know that in July of last year they were slapped with an FDA warning for having ferric ferron ferrocyanide ferric ferrocyanide in their lipsticks which is completely illegal to have in anything that goes around your lips. I cannot stress to you guys enough the fact that there are so many indie companies out there. If you look on Etsy or on Instagram, you will find so many companies who are treating their customers with respect like a company should, who have better quality product that aren't ridiculously priced, who have so much more to offer than just ridiculous colors that pretty much you can buy anywhere now. You know what I mean? Many people say that what made her so different and made her product so, like, wanted was the fact that back then she was the only person or the only company to have the outrageously bright neon really out there colors. Let me show you something. I just went to my collection and pulled out one, two, three, four, five, six different palettes from six different companies that you can find in drugstore or online for drugstore pricing that have all of the colors that everyone says is so unique and so amazing and so different for that company. Um, number one, I have Wet n Wild. Colors are amazing. They're really, really bright. I've done reviews on this palette so many times and everyone says, oh, they don't have any bright colors or anything. Excuse me. Even Sally Beauty Supply has eyeshadows for 89 cents or 90 cents that are like super pigmented and so nice. Same thing, bright colors. Let's talk about BH Cosmetics. I see nothing but brights here. And do I not? And let's not forget ColourPop Cosmetics, guys, which, by the way, is my brand of the century, but it was also my brand of the year for 2015 because, number one, they have number one, amazing quality products, amazing eyeshadows, bright neon colors, for five dollars. Five dollars for the best eyeshadows you will ever use in your life. I mean, come on, I have this one here is in the shade Fizz. It's right here. Is that not the most gorgeous color ever? And let me just say this also. Besides the fact that they have the best products ever for the best prices, they also have astounding customer service. I had placed an order earlier last summer, around maybe two weeks before my good friend's birthday, and I ordered a couple of things for her, as well as some things for me, in an order from them. I ordered this stuff ahead of time because I wanted to make sure that everything got here to my house in time so I could give it to her for her birthday. This stuff had not shipped and we were getting close to about a week before her birthday and I got kind of nervous because I know sometimes shipping can take up to a week to even get to and from where it needs to get to. So I emailed the company and number one, the one thing that surprised me was how fast they got back to me. Within 45 minutes of me sending that email, somebody from ColourPop messaged me and said, sorry, we're so sorry for the holdup, we're going to take care of it, don't worry about it. I was thinking they were going to take care of it in maybe two days, and it would get here maybe the next day after that. These people went out of their way and shipped my products the same day. Not only that, I got it the next day. Not only that, they threw in an extra eyeshadow, a birthday girl eyeshadow, for my friend free of charge. What? That is customer service that you need to be investing in. That is the kind of company that you need to be giving your money to. That is the kind of company that Doe Deer wishes she would have, but she doesn't because she's a bitch to all of her customers by calling them imbeciles and idiots, treating them like crap, making them look to, like dumbasses for buying her products. That is awful. You are an awful person. The fact that people are still waiting for their money after buying your product that gave them infections and rashes on their face is mind-blowing. These people deserve better. You deserve better from a company. And if I'm going to give you any suggestion, it's this. Do not give your money to companies who consider you to be nothing more than just 
cash. Do not invest your money in a company that treats you like shit. So much money was taken from these customers by charging them double for one product. By just, just the fact that she allowed this hacking to happen was ridiculous was absolutely ridiculous. And I don't understand how people are still giving her money because she's made clear in a statement that she had released on Instagram and everywhere else initially after this whole thing happened, when people started to complain and when her eyes bitch about her company, she had said in exclamation points and in all caps, I don't need your money. So why are you giving her your money? Hello? With that being said, guys, I thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video.